fight coming up next. It's a UFC lightweight division bout. This guy has truly made the takedown a thing of beauty in mixed martial arts with respect to yourself and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artists. This guy's closing the gap and, and entering that company in the eyes of men. Oh, absolutely, because he's done such a great job of timing takedowns. You didn't see, I haven't seen anyone so good at slipping a jab into a takedown since George St. Pierre. Right. He does a phenomenal job of getting to step one to step two before his opponent even realizes, now he's in on my leg. And if they do get their hip back, immediately he's up into a foot sweep, or a headlock, or an inside trip. It's just so many different ways for him to get you to the floor that he will throw every single one at you every single time. And a lot of fighters talk about that wrestling maintenance and how hard it is, right, over the course of a career to continue to drill those things. He talks a lot about that, and that's why he's continued to realize success here in the UFC. So you got Ron Gidry, Louisiana Lightning. You got Daniel Cormier, the two-division UFC champion. But now Dustin Poirier on the strength of a UFC interim lightweight title as a key to the city of Lafayette. And he will try to add to his significant legacy in this spot here tonight. The king of Lafayette, Dustin Poirier. He loves that city and he embodies everything that the city stands for. Yeah. He's tough, he's durable. He's a guy that is looking for a fight and in the fight with Max Holloway to win the title, you saw that he's willing to go through anything to accomplish his goals. A truly special athlete is Dustin Poirier. And it's amazing to think where he was after that knockout loss to Michael Johnson in a main event in Hidalgo, Texas in 2016. Refocused, rededicated himself, and was able to produce a UFC title. All eyes on Dustin Poirier as he gets back on the famed canvas here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC. Lightweight division, introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 19 wins, three losses. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Armin Ahakalakis Zarukian! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A boxer, holding a professional record of 29 wins, Seven losses and one no contest. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Coconut Creek, Florida. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata. You ready? Let's get this one started here. Round one is underway. And we've got a striker who is a force to be reckoned with. I he draws a guy who can do a little bit of everything. And that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage. But we know what a high-level striker is. And this guy is as high-level as we've ever seen in the UFC. Oh! He was hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Landed the right hand there. Now goes in and secures the takedown. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Now the guy's got arm bar, he's attacking it on him. He's gonna attack arm bar here. Continuing to try to manipulate the head here. Now he falls back into the finishing position. Oh, that's going to do it in a quick tap from there as yeah, he gets he's got it done it. by the submission. He got the arm straight. He got the pressure with his hips to force his opponent to tap, and he wins the fight. He got him! <laughs> yeah, really impressive work out of him here tonight. He had to work for it, no doubt about it, but a nice job to isolate and ultimately secure the arm 
and then get the tap from the armbar. So a pretty submission finish turned in by that fighter here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. Just watch how slowly he approaches the submission, though. He never rushes. He takes his time, but it's his trickiness. It's his ability to trick people into going to the floor with him that puts them in danger and finishing fights. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliato has called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, 17 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out. Incredible result here tonight as you see the winner there celebrating his victory by way of submission and they put so much stock into finishing this fight they felt like to really spin his career forward they needed to not just win but get the finish and they certainly got it tonight. they got the finish he's such a terrific grappler every time he is on his back he looks for